Well, I stood down a year ago and I made it clear that I wanted to have a proper crack at John Burko. Of course, what I didn't know then was that Cameron was going to endorse him, which rather spoiled that particular party. I, being leader of UKIP is a heck of a difficult thing to do. I took it over in 2006 when it was at a very low ebb indeed. And we had to very slowly try and build the thing up from the bottom. We had to gently try and find some new people to take on administrative roles. And whilst I think we did take the party forward, uh, we didn't take it forward as far as I would have liked. Everything takes time. But, you know, now we've had a general election, despite the fact it, it you know, up 50%, but it wasn't brilliant. The party is united. It's determined. We've just had a fantastic conference. It can see the opportunity. And I want to take over the leadership of UKIP now. And I want to do it completely differently to what I did it last time. Mm -hmm. I am not running to be a manager or a managing director, as I was before. Before it was like being the MD of a company. Every piece of paper from every department came across my desk. I'm not going to do any of that. I will not be running UKIP. I have no interest in running UKIP. I want to lead UKIP. I want to give political leadership. And I'm going to announce during the course of the hustings in a few weeks' time a, a, a new structure with a chief executive at the top, somebody with a proven record of success in PR and marketing in business, and somebody who's a dedicated UKIPper, and let's have a chief executive who runs the party accountable to the NEC on a once a month basis and leave me to do what I think I'm good at, which is media, getting the right messages and raising money. To a lot of people out there on Main Street, you know, when they hear the word UKIP, a lot of them associate it with me. Now, you can say that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, depending on your point of view. But, but I do believe I've got that public recognition. And the reason I've got it isn't because I've appeared on television. The reason I've got it is because I've said things and I couch things in a form of language that people understand and agree with. And I think my asset, my biggest asset for the party, is that I'm able, through the media, to reach millions of people who, who if they're not already voting UKIP, will think about voting UKIP. I've faced plenty of short-pitched, hostile bowling over the years. I mean, having said that, you know, there is no room for complacency. I mean, I was a, I was a trader before I did this, mm -hmm. and the saying in the city, you're only as good as your last trade, is absolutely right, and it's the same with media. You know, anybody can go on a question time and bomb, so I, I don't, because I've done lots of it, and because in the main it's gone quite well, don't think that I turn up for these programmes with a totally blasé attitude. Probably nobody works harder in preparing for these things than I do. Mentally, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. In fact, in some ways, mentally, I'm probably fitter than I've been for 10 years. I've just had three months off. I mean, albeit some of it with a, a, a bit of pain, but I've had three months off. I've lost a stone in weight. I've um, spent time at home. I've seen a bit more of my children. Um, I've had time to think, uh, which is something that I, you know, I haven't had much of over the last few years. And, no, I am fit. I'm mentally fit. I feel well. Uh, the sternum, the lungs, the ribs, all of that stuff has mended. I have some trouble with the lower back. Uh, and that means I can't physically, at this moment in time, do some of the things I did before. And I won't, if I'm leader again, uh, be able to charge off round the country getting home at 2 and 3 in the morning, night after night. That won't be possible. But what UKIP needs is a leader, a political leader, who's in London. It, this is where the action is. You know, if you're, I mean, you know, like it or not, this is where the media is. This is where you go out and reach the millions. So I will go out and travel around the regions in, in, in the country, but I'll have to do it differently. Um, and I've got to start looking after myself a bit. I and mean, I had a bit of a reputation all through my life for being a bit of a party animal. And then, of course, that's entirely true. Um, but I think, firstly, you know, one gets a bit older. Um, and secondly, after an experience like this, I probably now go to bed at 11 o'clock rather than 2 o'clock. So I can cope. I think it will have wider interest, and I think that the media are likely to reflect upon that during the campaign. I don't think this leadership election will, will be ignored by the newspapers and the BBC. I think people will, will, will look at the characters that are involved, and will make comments. So, yeah, it's, it, this is not going to be a purely in-house affair, even though the voters will be purely in-house. I think we will see media comment as the campaign develops. Oh, I think what we've done well so far 
is to establish the brand. That, 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 that may sound like, believe you me, all through the 90s, you know, you stood in elections for UKIP, who have they never heard of them? I mean, we've established the brand. Uh, we've established what we stand for on the European question, or perhaps what we stand against. I mean, you know, one would like to turn it round a bit more to what we stand for. Uh, so that we've done, no question. Uh, we have been able to build a party with a, a, a network and a structure across the country, despite repeated attempts to sabotage us and bring us down. We, um, we've managed to do that. Uh, what we haven't yet done is we haven't yet made the transfer to being seen to be relevant in different kinds of elections. And we need to be seen to be relevant in domestic elections. Um, and one of the ways that I will try and turn that around is there's been too little emphasis on local elections. You know, UKIPers think, to hell with that, we're going to form a next government. Actually, we're not going to form any government at all. We're not going to win any seats in Westminster unless we start winning district and county council by-elections and seats. That is the way that you build up. That is the way that, at, at a local level, you began to be looked at as a possible winner. Um, and so that's one of the things that I will push very hard. And when it comes to fighting elections, I will try and lead by example. I mean, I think the last four general elections that you could before, I think I've been the lead candidate three times. So, you know, I believe in fighting, I believe in leading from the front. And we've, as yet, we haven't made ourselves properly relevant. Uh, now, you know, we've got some good policies, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm very happy with what we've developed on education and, and, and tax and various things like that. But it's one thing having policies on the website it's another communicating them out and getting millions to understand that that's, that that's what you stand for. So that is the next big challenge. I think we have to be positive. Um, and I think, I think that positivity um, is reflected partly in what we say, but also in how we say it. And, and, I, and I generally think I have got a fairly upbeat, optimistic tone to life. Um, I think we need to emphasise that we're not anti-anything. We're not anti-European people. We're not anti-Europe. It's this set of institutions. It's this form of big government we've got here. I mean, it, it, you know, UK cannot be and must not be seen to be an obsessively anti-EU party. As far as I'm concerned, the EU is part of the whole problem of the way in which we live our lives in this country. And I think if we can communicate that, then I think what we can do is start to attract young people in real numbers to come to this party. And one of the things that finally pushed me into saying, right, I'm going to stand for this again, was the number of young people I've met that say, Nigel, we love what you say. It's great stuff. We watch you on YouTube. You know, we're going to join the party. So if we can do that and develop a really big youth wing in this party, you'll see a very different kind of UKIP in two or three years' time. And I think it's doable. Oh, vital. And um, one of the things I'll be announcing is part of the central management team, the new central management team of the party, under a chief executive, one very senior UKIP figure, will be dedicated solely to working with young independents and youth development. And we're going to get out around the schools and the sixth form colleges. Uh, we're going to attempt to plan a really massive go at the Freshers' Fairs next September. In October, we're going to do this seriously. I see this as being the key. You know, we have to grow, we have to do better at elections, we have to focus more on locals, all those things I've mentioned already, but the key into turning this into a positive, buzzy, forward-looking movement is to get that youth wing going. I think the time is good. Do you know, I, I mean, I'm the only candidate here that's been in the party continuously since the start. Um, others have left and come back and various things like that and I a lot of our best people are getting old certainly in the south east and south west which were the areas that we developed strongly early on a lot of our best people are getting old and getting a bit tired um, so you know really the answer to this is, is very much linked into the previous question we need some fresher and younger blood I think in the main uh, the branches do a pretty good job, you know, I mean some don't, but um, in the main the branches do a pretty good job, they find candidates, but one of the, again, one of the difficulties has been convincing the branches that local elections matter, but again even there we're beginning to win the argument. So I don't want to change the branch structures, I think the branch structures work, 
And I think in the more developed parts of the country, they now have county coordinators, and those county coordinators sit on regional committees. And I think we have a structure um, that actually works. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.